Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more problems regarding the steady state error. Here, the first problem. Look at the first problem. Find SSE if the given given transfer function, open loop transfer function is this value, and given two signals. First, clearly observe the open loop transfer function. The given transfer function is like this: one by s square s plus 4 s plus 10 this is the given transfer function whenever transfer function doesn't have any poles this is the open loop transfer function if the transfer function consisting of the two condition the first condition no zeros doesn't have any zeros that means z equal to 0 and number of poles at number of poles at origin equal to 2 that means at 0 it has 2 poles number of poles origin means what is the thing the thing is here so this is the origin 0 if we have the 2 poles here we have the 2 poles here then the system is the unstable system the system is unstable system. look at here there is no poles and it has the two poles at two poles at origin then given system is unstable unstable system so for any unstable system if you give any type of input the steady state error will be undefined not defined so for any unstable system unstable system the steady state error is the SSE is not defined not defined so by using this concept in the examination in any examination in this question any option is not defined first you check the given g of s open loop transfer function is stable or not then you will go for the finding the steady state error otherwise you didn't get that okay this is very important thing next the next problem is here the problem is open loop transfer function g of s equal to s plus 1 by this this is the given but p is unknown where p is an integer feedback is unity okay he mentioned two things one is sse is 0 for unit step and sse is 6 for unit ramp the value of the p is so here the given solution the given input g of s equal to s plus 1 by s into p into s plus 2 into s plus 3 this is the given open loop transfer function unity feedback no problem at all here the first condition is here the error is 0 steady state error is 0 he mentioned when the error is 0 order of system you know that order of system is greater than the type of input type of input then it will be zero so the it is not applicable but he second point look at the second point he mentioned steady state six for unit ramp so if you apply the unit ramp so for example the input signal is unit ramp unit ramp means one into t into u of t one is magnitude that is unit t into u of t is the ramp signal the value of the piece so here he mentions direct steady state error what is the steady state error steady state error for unit ramp equal so a by kv okay here you know that a value is the one what is kv kv means velocity constant if the formula is kv equal limit s tends to zero s into g of s is the formula so by using that 
to substitute this value he mentioned already steady state error is 6 steady state error is the 6 so leave that first you find out the kv so what is kv here just kv equal limit s tends to 0 we have s is here g of s equal s plus 1 by s into and s into here the p is the constant another pole is s plus 2 another pole is the s plus 3 okay so both will be cancelled then you can find out kv equal if you substitute s value 0 0 plus 1 it have the 1 here and 0 plus 2 you have 2 0 plus 3 we have 3 kp kv equal to 1 by 6 kv equal to 1 by 6 okay and you are missing p is there p so that means 6 p into 6 or 6 into p so what is steady state error formula here the steady state error formula equal a by kv so steady state error is already given the value is steady state error value is 6 a, unit step 1 kv equal 6p so 1 by 6 into p so then become 6 into p both 6 6 will be cancelled then the p value equal to 1 then the p value equal to 1 okay so this is the this is the model to do, do the problem this is the solution okay whenever the problem is like this just you find the steady state error the substitute the value in that equation then you will get the the required unknown value the here required unknown value is p and that p will be you will be find out using the equation the next problem is g of s equal 1 by s square plus 2s plus 5 and already he given one black diagram that is so k g of s we have the two tra open loop transfer functions and y is there so he is not given maybe it is the input x the step response of the CL closed loop system should have minimum settling time no overshoot the required value of the k is so first what is open loop transfer function look at here and the given input is the he mentioned already step step input that step input will be given to this this open loop transfer function uh, by multiplying the both gains you will have k into g of s we have the two gains okay so this is the gain so directly you should write the directly you can write this value so what is g of s better to write the g of s value also here what is g of s just 1 by s square plus 2s is the g of s s square plus 2 of s is the g of s then we have the y is the output and you have the unity feedback we have the unity feedback okay we will get that value yes so he already mentioned step input we have some input but he mentioned two things minimum settling time no overshoot so when look at here we are giving the unit step so just we are applying the we are discussed the theory we are giving the unit step to which type of system it is it is a second order system okay it is a second order system for the second order system if you are applying the unit step signal we have three types of signals will be generated first is uh, we undamped system and second is underdamped system and third is critically damped system and fourth is over damped system these are different types undamped system is look like this this is the one 
and this is the unit step then the system is in it continuously going we have we have the overshoots and undershoots but it is not the system because he is mentioned no overshoot under damper system means under damper system also initial increases and slightly decreases it will become but it have overshoots and undershoot it is not possible what about critically damper system critically damper system is like this it is it critically it will reach the one and like this what is over damper system over damper system is this is the unit step signal this is the one and it will it doesn't reach and it will be like it will be decreases so here the critically damp observe here settling time minimum settling it will take more settling time over damper system has more settling time high settling time but here less settling time settling time means the time required to reach the output into final position final position means one so this it has the less settling time it has the doesn't have less settling time so that's why it is the critically damped system so for critically damped system this is the given system for critical damper system what is the condition here critical damper system damping ratio is 1 damping ratio zeta is 1 that is a very important thing so by using that we will find out we will solve the equation that is from this this is the open loop transfer function we will write the closed loop transfer function how we can write numerator by numerator plus denominator what is the numerator value k is the numerator what is the denominator s square plus 2s plus k square plus 2s plus k we are getting the closed loop transfer function so here compare the closed loop transfer function with the general closed loop transfer function so general closed loop transfer function look like this omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n plus omega n square equal to k by s square plus 2s plus k so here compare with both you can compare here so s square s square is there no problem 2 zeta omega n omega n is this is and so 2 zeta omega n equal to 1 2 zeta omega n equal to 1 here from that just you will have the one thing zeta omega n equal to 1 and or you can write like this 2 zeta omega n value equal to 2 compare here both s 2 zeta omega n is equal to 2 and if you compare so omega n square is k or omega n square is k so write that here the omega n square equal to k right so by using that you can find out omega n here if substitute omega n equal to root k yes and zeta value you know that the zeta value yeah yes you know zeta value is 1 we don't know omega n value that is 2 so omega n equal to 1 substitute this one in this e in this one equal to root k then k equal to one okay so this is the one of the important model that is whenever a system is represented with some characteristics and just define the system which type of the system is given then compare with the transfer function you will have the solution okay I hope all of you understand this session. Thank you.